Good morning, this is Rob and it's such a pleasure to share this time with you. On Sunday, Braid's message entitled The Immigrant, Tourist and Exile encouraged us to see ourselves as exiles, that this world is our temporary home. I'd like to reflect on 1 Peter 1.3 which reads, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. As born-again believers, we have a living hope. We are promised eternal life which even begins now in this life. Isn't it awesome? We belong to a different kingdom, follow a different authority and should live with a different mentality. The hope we have isn't an uncertain hope, but a confident and sure expectation. As I was preparing this devotion, I was thinking, what am I confident and sure of? I was thinking that it's a hope where we know that our Heavenly Dad is taking care of our future. As we allow Him, which we should, He will guide and direct our steps, watch over us, assist us through the challenges of this life. But what is equally important is that we know that this is our temporary home and that we are getting ready here for our permanent home. This is our certain hope. 1 Peter 1 verse 3 to 4 reads, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by His great mercy that we have been born again, because God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. So now we live with great expectation and we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach of change and decay. In a way, it's like you and I have read the end of the book and found out how the story ends. Not always the best idea when you're reading reading suspense thriller. However, as born-again believers, we know how our story will eventually end. Our present and future is secure in Him. It's been a pleasure spending this time with you all. Have a blessed day.